I feel like soup dumplings, but I also feel like um, comforting American food. <laughs> Today, we're gonna to put tomato soup inside of a dumpling wrapper made of cheese and then fry it. So you're gonna have that like grilled cheese, tomato soup, mozzarella stick thing happening with a little like pop of soup that happens in your mouth and it is nothing short of delicious. I got about a cup of tomato soup. How are we gonna solidify that? We're gonna use gelatin, simple. We're gonna hydrate the gelatin in the tomato soup. We're gonna set it in the fridge so we can scoop it out and it's moldable and we're gonna use it in mozzarella. We're gonna wrap it around and then simply we're gonna bread it and fry it. One cup of tomato soup. That pan is hot. That is one teaspoon of gelatin and we're gonna hydrate that with a whisk. You don't want it to clump up because then you're gonna have pockets of gelatin. And all you're gonna do is just heat this up enough so the gelatin kind of like blooms out a little bit and then you're just gonna set it in any container and then jam it in the fridge until it's set. It's gonna set and it's gonna feel like Jello, basically, a hard jello that you can mold. So take this, jam it in your fridge, and watch this. Boom. Through the magic of TV, boom. One is set. Already, you, had, you did not have to wait 20 or 30 minutes. That happened in seconds. You can work it like a filling. Now you're gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna eat tomato soup like that. As soon as this is exposed to heat, it's gonna start to melt, right? So in the frying cooking process in the end, that gelatin will melt out and it'll be soup again. How are we gonna turn mozzarella into a dumpling wrapper? Across the board, you want fresh mozzarella. This is very, very, very important. How do you do fresh mozzarella is you work these curds in warm water. So here I have a pan with some water in it that's about at 180 degrees. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mozzarella, reverse engineer it to re-soften it so it becomes pliable. So like when you're making mozzarella, you're pulling it, we're gonna get it back to that same point so we can use it to fold the wrapper around the tomato soup. So I have my mozzarella. It's about a quarter inch thick. I'm just gonna lay it in there and it's gonna become malleable once again. What we wanna do is we wanna work as quick as possible to get that soup in there, wrap it up, reseal it before it has time to melt. Let's check it. Oh yeah, that's really workable right now. You see that? See how it's already dripping and pouring just like that? We're gonna put this on our board. You can use your hands to kind of press it. I'd use the heel of your hand. You don't want to push out because then you're going to tear it. So real quickly now, you're going to take about a teaspoon of soup and you're going to lay it right in the middle. You're going to take the four sides, pull them all up, and then you're going to start pinching to reseal it all back together. This cheese is wet enough where it'll stick to itself. And right there, that is a ready to go soup dumpling. You're going to take these and you're going to put it in the fridge you're gonna cool them down. Because what happens if they sit too long, since it's warm, um, it's just the weight on the top is just gonna splay them all out, which is gonna happen naturally. We wanna get these in the fridge. You don't ever wanna cook this mozzarella hot because it's just gonna explode all over the place. So let's get it in the fridge. All right, so our things have been setting in here for a minute. Kinda of looks like soup dumplings, right? Now we here we just have a standard breading station. So a little bit of flour on the outside, then egg. The flour allows the egg to stick and the egg allows the breading to stick. That's gonna be a fried piece of mozzarella with tomato soup in it. Tell me how you can hate on that. 30 seconds, you're just browning the outside. That's it. The only thing you're doing is browning it. You're not cooking anything, you're just browning. Just like that, the fried cheese comes out. So you pull apart. Look at that. Talk about cheese pull. What's up, Instagram? There's all the soup inside. I mean, now it just looks like a delicious mess because you're actually not supposed to eat soup dumplings this way, so eat this like you would a soup dumpling. Don't cut it in half and expect it to all stay together. I mean, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The most all-American soup dumpling. Recipes made at 1 a.m. Out! For more You Can Do This and other weird stuff, click here. They're gonna put that inside of a burger patty 
which are only gonna cook to about 131 degrees, making it medium rare. Magic? No, just a little bit.